what? Puzzle is coming. I like it. What did you say? Okay, welcome to Andy, Evie. No question how they want to say it. I feel very proud of myself on this one. games from Chilla's Art, so this is going to be quite funny. Fun. Hopefully it's not too bad. There's a lot of mixed reviews on the game, but I'm still curious regardless. So, let's get to it. Okay, so I just wanted to see. Okay, so option. Okay, there, there is a... Did I just hear a goat? I'm here to go. Okay, so this is zoom. Okay, so wheel is zoom. Uh, can't do nothing with that. So did I crash my bike, I'm assuming? It's nice and relaxing, eh? March 3rd, Daily Report. I can't contact Michael Dean. Henry Moss and Michael Dean's absence is slowing down the process. This one you haven't heard of? This one's a little bit older. If you're familiar with, um, Chilla's games, this is one of their first games that they created. Like, not like their first first, but like one of their first. Can I go in? Or no? No? You won't let me go in? Yeah. So like I was saying earlier, like, it's got mixed reviews, because I mean, what do you want when to- Oh, DK, thank you very much, I appreciate that. <laughs> I will definitely pick that up after. I gotta make a good looking, uh, warrior. Gotta get ready, right? Yeah, so, like, a lot of people said, like, it's kind of buggy, whatever, and it's like, well, what do you want, right? Hopefully we don't have any issues, but we'll see. Thank you, I appreciate that. Henry left early due to a strong headache and vomiting. Okay. So right now we're just trying to figure out what, what the hell we're supposed to do. Okay, I'm assuming... Unless I follow the path in the woods, I thought maybe I had to go inside this building, but there's no prompt, and the door doesn't open. Okay, so let's follow, let's just follow the path. Like, I think it looks good, though, like, considering, like, the graphics are nice. Controls are not that bad. I mean, like, obviously knowing what to do would be a little bit nicer, but... Okay, the map is huge, though. Okay, maybe not too, too big. Okay, so there seems to be a fence that we can't cross over. What if I follow along the lines of the- Oh, it's getting dark. Wait, I can't see. I was gonna say, if we follow along the lines of the fence, but that doesn't help me. <laughs> yes, yes. I like- I like the graphic styles that they do now. It's interesting. Okay. I'm following the fence just to see if there's like a hole or something. The rain 
is relaxing. Because, I mean, at the moment, I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing. So I'm just trying to, like, just look around and just see if there's something. Like, I feel like we have to go into that building, but I can't get in. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, wait, there's something there. Can I go over here? Oh, okay, okay, okay. See, sometimes following a fence actually works. Nah, see, the game doesn't tell us anything about that. Okay, I have, it's reading a controller book again. Um, look, zoom, rotate, examine. Doesn't say anything about flashlights, though. Hopefully it like auto turns on when we go inside the house. Can we go in? We can't go in there. Can you go in? Can't go in there. Game, I finally found a house. You gotta let me in. Oh, there we go. Okay, I found a house. And loading. Okay, not bad, actually. They did the lighting pretty good. The transitioning is a little bit slow from scene to scene. Okay, now I hear a cat. At the start of the game, I heard a goat. Now I hear a cat. Okay, that's locked, that's locked. Okay, I'm walking a little bit. Do I actually have a flashlight in my hand? That's locked. Diary. Oh. I was like, open the book. There's gotta be something in there. No? Okay. Maybe it's a cat goat. Oh, <laughs> it just opened the door to my face. I don't, I don't think we want to meet a cat go, right? Okay, we got a number lock. Okay, so first puzzle is coming. Hopefully it's not too, too bad. January 10th, after countless fights, I'm finally freed from him. I don't even know how we lasted five years. To celebrate that I got rid of everything that had to do with him, but I couldn't get rid of that photo, I guess. I do have some good memories of him, but he's still a d dick? I'm just gonna say the word is dick. He left me knowing that I'm 17 weeks pregnant. Does he not care about the baby? I'm stressed out. What am I supposed to do with his with this baby? Should I consider an abortion? There's just too much going on right now. I don't know what to do. My life has been stressful ever since that asshole left the house. It's all his fault. Page one of 16. Woo wee! Wow. I just blinked and I was like, I'm pretty sure I just saw a person there. Pretty sure. <laughs> I feel like I'm ridiculously tall. Am I floating? Yeah. Look, we can still hear the rain. I like it. See, if my husband was smart, he would agree with you on that. <laughs> He'd be like, yeah, same. <laughs> there is a lot of reading. This is page five. It's been more than a week and none of the employers gave me a response. What am I going to do? I don't think I can make it without the amount of money I have left. I need to find a way to make money, but I don't think the money will last. Should I ask mom for help? She always helped me when I was in trouble. I'll ask her tomorrow. Hopefully she can help me. I mean, I feel the same way when it comes to the reading. Not going to lie. <laughs> What's this? Baby wipes. Oh, they're cute. Look at these. Okay, we don't need that. That's envelopes. This is a piece of paper. Page 14. Well, clearly you guys don't put this in order. 
I went to see a psychiatrist today. She told me that I was depressed. We had several hours talk about being positive. Fruit extract. And being social. But I don't want to talk. I don't have anyone to talk to. Everyone I had connections with are not around here anymore. Ezra is the only one that's still with me. These pills, they don't work. Taking them, they won't bring back mom. Nothing will be the same. How am I supposed to be happy like this? I would say those who can remain positive in a situation like this is the ones with the mental illness issues. Ah. Okay, okay. Okay, what's this? A pacifier? Oh wait, did I actually get to keep that one? Okay, you let me keep the pacifier. Okay. Hopefully it wasn't like around the same time, because jeez. Back to back. Okay, nothing there. Oh my god, I don't want to read anymore. <laughs> Today was the day I was waiting for. Back to my good old house. One of the first things we did was to figure out what I can do to earn money. Mom suggested to look for jobs I can do at home, and the first thing that came to my mind was to teach piano. I have a degree in teaching piano, and there's a piano in this house. Mom and I started by making flyers we can post on places to advertise. We also need a license for teaching private lessons, so I need to go get one. Hopefully I can start the lessons and get some customers by the time the baby is born. After that was done, we talked about what happened in the five years we weren't in contact. Mom told me that Lucky died a year ago because of old age. I was shocked Lucky died. I knew that he was really old, but it's not easy to let go. I wish that I was there to say goodbye to him. He used to follow me around everywhere I go. He was my best friend. Oh, So it was like a dog doggy. That's creepy. Okay, baby crib. Other picture. Other paper. I gave mom a call and told her everything. She sounded really worried. She told me to come back home. She said she wants to see my face again. I miss mom. I wonder how she looks like right now. I also miss the house. I haven't been there for five years. I wonder if the room looks the same. I also miss Lucky. I wonder how he's doing. I want to give him a walk like the good old days. I wonder if he remembers me. I can't wait to see him. All those memories. It's so nostalgic. I can't wait to go back home. It sounds like a country song, right? So I'm wondering if this is the mom's old house? Because yeah, because she's talking about the piano and stuff. Home. Love runs out. Happy animals. A B. Okay. Oh my god. I finally got a call from someone. She called to have me teach her daughter to play piano. I'm thinking of accepting this offer and this offer only for now. Considering my current situation, it's too tough to teach more than one person at a time. Though I do think I need to accept more students as soon as I give birth, I really need to thank mom for all the things she's done for me. Not just now, but also for everything up until now. I guess that's what it means to be a mother. To love and support your child. I aspire to become a mother that makes her child feel the same way. I kind of wish the papers were actually given to you in order. Because it, it can get a little bit confusing reading it out of order. Oh, that's the doggo. Cute. Piano lesson book by... Right? He's a cutie. I've contacted the mother who wants to teach me... Oh, ooh, God, I can't read. Who wanted me to teach her daughter and accept her offer. The lesson is going to start from the 22nd. I need to leave a good impression on my first student. My family depends on this. I knew this was coming, but darn, I'm getting nervous. I need to start preparing. Okay. So. This nine is highlighted in red. So, okay. So I'm wondering. Nine? Nine is probably not the first number, but let's see. Let's go back to the memo papers that we found. And see what others are highlighted. They tell me that there's nothing else highlighted? And I'm just going crazy? Okay, okay, maybe 
maybe that's the only highlighted one that I found so far? Okay, I'm just gonna close this door. Okay. Oh, a bedroom! I didn't- I didn't see this door before. Cute. Oh, that's him? That's me. Yeah, yeah, creepy. Creepy baby. Okay, so I can't keep the necklace. Okay, we got clothes. Oh, paper. It's a boy. The doctor told me that I can expect the baby in 20 weeks. I told mom about it and she was excited to become a grandma. Everything has been great ever since I broke up. All the wars I had a couple days ago is a thing in the past. The only thing I need to worry about is to get a job. Okay, so these would... Okay, nothing here. Okay, I'm gonna keep this drawer open since this one has a memo paper. Oh, what's this? Oh, camera! Another paper. This is too much for me. Mom is the only person I can rely on. He was awkward. Oh, it was awkward to call her, but this time I had to. I thought she would be mad at me, but instead she cared for me. She reminisced about how she raised me and that she went to. S she went through in some of the early chapters of my childhood. It's it warmed my heart. She went on to say that she can take care of my child. It's embarrassing, but I started crying in the middle of the phone call. I just couldn't hold back my tears after all. All the encouragement she gave me. I can't believe how loving she is. I didn't talk to her for five years, and the first thing I do is ask for help about this terrible situation. If I was her, I'd be filled with disappointment. Hello. I want to become like her. I want to become a mother. I'm going to find a job while taking care of the baby. I'm going to give the baby the same love my mom gave me. Oh, okay. Now, my issue. Why the heck is nothing else highlighted? What is the game about? Well, that's... That's the thing. We're not really 100% sure what the game's about. Right now we're kind of just learning about the main character's past. Okay, there we go. There we go. Six. We have another highlighted number. Now that I think about it, who needs that guy to help me raise my child? I can do it all by myself. I already applied for five jobs. I just have to wait till I get accepted. I also have some savings, so I'm okay with money. I'm go also going to go see the doctor tomorrow. Hopefully the baby's healthy. Yeah, so so far we're pretty much just reading. We've now entered into, I believe it's mom's house. I'm pretty sure it's mom's house. Okay, I'm gonna close this. Let's check the kitchen. I'm finally back home. I was at the hospital yesterday because the baby's finally born. I wasn't expecting for him to be coming on this early. Mom seemed worried again when she brought me to the hospital. She just went back home to get my clothes, but I can't help but to think about my once bloated stomach now looking like a dry plum. The baby is sleeping right now. He looks healthy and is incredibly cute. Mom said that the ear and the nose of the baby are like mine. He looks more like me than Steven. He doesn't have the look that made me pissed off every time I looked. Aww. Also, I need to decide on what to name him. I was thinking of a few names with Mom, but we haven't decided on what to name him yet. I know I'm overthinking, but the names are important. I want to take time. Spencer, Ezra, Kobe, John, Jose, er Eric? Okay, this one's not- wait, this one wasn't highlighted, right? No, it's not. Okay. okay so this is a box. Baby bottle. Okay, so I can take the baby bottle. I took the pacifier. What's this? These are scissors. Wait, I'm taking I don't like the idea that I'm taking scissors. I don't like that. Today was a special day. It's the day that I finally became a piano teacher. The mother's name is Teresa and the daughter's Alice. I was a bit worried at first if Alice was shy or if she simply disliked my teaching style, but as I broke some of the ice between us and told her, she began to smile a little. Alice seems like a lovely girl. She learns very quick and I'm happy to see her enjoy her first day. I'm glad Alice is my first student. When I was her age, I couldn't be tutored without mom also being in the same room. I can't wait to teach her next week. Whatever. I totally read that wrong, but I don't care. 
was this. Pick a picture of a sleep aid. Oh, that's like those pills. Chicken noodle! Okay, we got a pear. Chicken? Mmm, chicken. Oh, I'm just, okay. Okay, I don't see nothing there. Nothing there. Oh, no, close. Oh, I got close! Okay, we got dark cabinets I can't see inside these ones, so I'm assuming that there's nothing in here. Why everything was going great? Life was supposed to get better from here. My life's been better thanks to you, and I need to thank you. I still haven't told you how much I appreciate you. You still haven't seen your grandson grow up, Mom. You just told me a few days ago about living longer for Ezra. Okay, so she chose the name the baby Ezra. You never told me about your lung problems. You've helped me a lot, Mom, and I want to help you too. I want to give you everything back to you. Why did you leave me without... Giving me a chance to repay for all the things you've given. Why? Okay, more pills. Okay, so now she's taking these pills. Yo, she's talented. Look at that. I'm get stretch arms here. I only have two numbers. Is it a, I'm assuming it's a four numbered lock, right? Or oh, that's three. You need a key. No, I need I need to figure out how to use okay, there we go. Okay, I only have two numbers though. I have a six and a nine. Yeah, so I definitely need four numbers. Hmm. Nine. Unless, which I doubt it. No, wait, that's not right. Okay. Hmm. I don't recall any other numbers highlighted though We can't move these because of the baby. Or, sorry, not the baby, but because of the bed. Oh, five. Okay. I heard they separate the child if they recognize the parents with problems. I've already lost enough. Steven left me. Lucky died. Mom died. And now they're trying to take Ezra away from me. So I'm taking away from me. What did I do to deserve this? Okay, so that means- Okay, so I'm definitely missing one paper then. If that's the case. Okay, so I just gotta look around. And that's it. Or I could- 
could. YOLO, since we, we only need one number. But I want to find it. <laughs> I want to find this missing paper. Ah! Ah! I've decided it, it's not the one I needed, but still. I decided to name the baby Ezra. Ezra means helper in Hebrew, and I wanted to make him that, because I feel like he has helped me mature. While I was pregnant, I had many problems, but I feel like Ezra's been supporting me through, all, through it all, and allowed me to become a mother. He also became the catalyst to call mom and bring peace to our relationship. He has helped me a lot, and I want Ezra to continue helping others as he grows up. I think this is the perfect name for him, and I hope he will grow up and live up to his name. I told mom his name and the reason behind it. She really likes the name. She also gave me her necklace as a gift to congratulate me. She told me to take care of the necklace and that I could pass it on to the next generation. Okay. It is, uh, it is pretty sad. Okay, let's go back into the kitchen. We've already checked this. I made just YOLO numbers, since we technically have three out of the five. Uh, three out of the four. Just in case I can't find this last paper that I'm missing. Oh, I was like, I got stuck there. Oh, it's bugging me. I want to know where it is. I don't see anything on the bed, so it's definitely not there. We already looked at that. Okay. Okay, can you not glitch? There we go. Okay, so nine, six. Assuming that this is even the order. So let's try nine. No. Okay. I'm assuming if I'm right, it, would, it, it should auto-unlock. Or not. Oh my god, my eyes. You made it! Hello! Oh, this is gonna bug me. Okay, so there's an attic, but it doesn't look like I can go up. It's a little bit creepy. <laughs> I wonder. Yeah, these are all locked. It wouldn't really make sense for the piece of paper to be out here. So the final code number has to be inside the house. Okay, let's close this door again. Yeah, but like, it, it wasn't DK's fault. <laughs> it wasn't. Okay, so we're missing 
one note that can potentially give us the final code to the to the door. Oh, what's this? Eight. There it is. Okay. Eight. So I'm assuming, okay. Okay, so eight is page five. So let me see something. Okay, so if I put eight here. Oh, wrong button. Okay, wait, eight. Crap, now I gotta remember where the other number, the other pages are. Ooh. Okay, let's go back to the bedroom really quickly. No, it wasn't, it wasn't in the bedroom? Wait, it wasn't in the bedroom. Oh, six. Okay, six is page three. Okay. I'm just, I'm just trying to see if there's an order to um, the actual password. Like, by the order of, the, like, the notes. Five is page 15, so this would be maybe potentially the last. Okay, so then if I'm right, then the first number should be... Or not, never mind. Where the hell is note number nine? Again. Nine. Was nine? Over here? Nine. Wait, did I just, wait, page nine is that one. Wait, did I just screw this up? <laughs> wait, you're nine. Okay, wait. I'm being a potato again. Game. They hear, okay, I was like, let me look at this. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So then nine goes there and then five is last. Okay, so that's, okay, so your password is Six eight nine five. So that was the big issue was because I was missing that that last piece of paper. I couldn't find it because like we had to figure out the order of the numbers, right? Okay. So basically, so it's six, eight. Okay, eight is invisible. Nine. Five. Um, I believe we're actually at the end of the game. This game is actually not very long at all. The, the hardest thing is with the game was basically finding the password, which could take people a good while. Oof. If I'm not mistaken. Okay, so she's got all the pills again. Adventure. Ezra, it's okay. We'll be together forever. We're just gonna go see your grandma. We can finally all be... Yeah. So she killed herself and the baby. I didn't know what to do. I ran for the exit. I just knew I shouldn't be here. When I got out, I dialed 911 and waited for what seemed like hours. I led them to the building. But when we got there, the building wasn't there. But it, 
it kind of makes you think, though, right? Was everything in her head the whole time? Like, was there even a baby? Right? Like... No, 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 no. We would have actually have been finished faster, but we couldn't find the last piece of paper to give us the password. We actually got really lucky with figuring out how, how the code goes really quick. I feel very proud of myself on this one. I don't know why people complained. I mean, okay, yeah, it's a short game, but I, th I think it's pretty good considering, you know, it's one of their first games. The lock was a little bit buggy whenever you're trying to grab it to put in the code, but outside of that, I thought it was pretty good. Definitely kind of makes me wonder, like, if everything, like, what was in her head and what actually was real. Yeah, I, I think it's pretty decent. 